the instructor you're answering a question and I think that kind of critique can apply to literally any assignment you do where it's like how well have you answered a question so I do look back at old critique and kind of apply it to new assignments. Yeah, and you're often doing like similar t style assessments yeah. Yeah. throughout the entirety of your degree like yeah. no matter what it is like you're bound to be doing similar style things. I think you can take the broad sort of criticism yeah. and apply it to whatever assessment you might be doing in the future. Yeah. And uh, like looking at like mid-semester like assessments and looking back to like once earlier in the semester, mm. I think will give you a better idea of what your lecturer requires of you, like yeah. what that class needs of you, like yeah. uh, your response, like your critiques and stuff are really helpful in understanding what you need to do in your f future assessments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's <laughs> beneficial to, yeah. yeah. For me, I also think it is important to know the previous feedback. Sometimes the next assignment related to yeah. the previous assignment. Yeah. yeah. You need to know uh, where you need to improve and mm -hmm. which mistake you need to correct. Yeah, and exactly. And help us yeah. to write better for next assignment. Yeah, I think feedback, um, helps you know in which aspects you're strong yeah. and so you can keep it up there yeah. Yeah. and in which aspects you might uh, be weak or you might uh, be needing to be more careful or, or do more research so um, you can look back at that and try to apply it again now to the new project that you're doing the new assignment. <laughs>where I needed to email them mm -hmm. and ask some clarifications on the feedback because I think that's probably the most important part of the class when you're producing your own work and then you really want to know where you can do better. Yeah, yeah and I think m most lecturers provide very in-depth feedback but there are some times when I've got feedback and it's been minimal I've had to ask somebody like where did I where can yeah. I improve? Yeah. Like, yeah. please tell me where I can improve. Like, if I've gotten a certain mark, and yeah. they've just said you've done good, yeah. and they haven't provided any <laughs> in-depth feedback, it's like, yeah. can you tell me what I need yeah. to do to improve to get, like, to yeah. do better down the line? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's usually when I. Sorry. No. Most of them we can understand, but if we want to get further details and further explanation from the yeah. lecturer, we need to ask them and or send email to them. We yeah. can get more useful information for us to prepare for next assignment. Mm -hmm. And I also find like um, when lecturers do that thing where they give you general unit feedback, I really usually find that very useful because I feel like that feedback is very relevant to the topic at hand. And even though if you didn't make those mistakes, it's like you can know that that is something that you can potentially do and kind of look up.